most of you might have heard that filling your tires with nitrogen is better than filling them with air. So, is nitrogen really worth the extra cash spent? That's exactly what we're going to learn in today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to Vegum, a place where we talk everything related to automobiles. Most of you might have heard that filling your tires with nitrogen is better than filling them with air. So, is nitrogen really worth the extra cash spent? First, let's get to the claims. Improved steering, braking, grip, economy, reduced tire pressure loss, no oxidation, reduced blowouts, lower operational temperature. These are the claims made by people who fill nitrogen in your tires. To begin with, there is no scientific evidence that steering, braking and grip are improved on filling your tires with nitrogen or any other gas for that matter. Let's look at the opinion of Tiff from 5th gear. I've got two identical Suzuki Swifts, one with tires filled with air, the other with nitrogen. I'll drive each for 10 laps and compare how the cars feel and how fast they go. Right, out onto our little test track with the tyres filled with normal air. Oh, great change of direction there with this little Suzuki. It's a fun car to drive, really very good car to do this test because it's so easy to drive near the limit, so consistent in its handling. After 10 laps, I'd recorded an average lap time of 47.9 seconds. Let's see if the car handles differently driving on nitrogen. Well, first impressions, that there's nothing to choose between the two. The balance is the same. The ride quality feels just the same. Change of direction, high speed, the same. This is such a good little car. Well, the test's over. I'm afraid I haven't felt any difference. Not sure about this nitrogen. There was no difference in the lap time either. And again, the tyre pressures rose more in the nitrogen-filled tyres, proving it wasn't 100% pure. Yes, it might keep the tyre inflated for longer, but I still don't think I'd recommend it. Now let's talk some numbers. The air we breathe has 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen and 1% other gases. Let us assume that all other gases except nitrogen leak from the rubber compound. We fill that 22% by compressed air and most of it is nitrogen again. And this cycle keeps on going. Let's get into more detail now. It is popularly believed that gas slowly permeates through rubber matrix and we are made to believe that oxygen molecule being smaller in size permeates faster. But no one ever tells that how much smaller is oxygen molecule compared to a nitrogen molecule. As a matter of fact, nitrogen is only 2.7% bigger than oxygen. For example, if the diameter of oxygen molecule is 10 mm, the diameter of nitrogen molecule would be 10.27 mm. Respected North American Consumer Advocacy Agency Consumer Reports has done a credible nitrogen versus air test. It is found that nitrogen filled tires lost 0.042 psi per week and air filled tires lost 0.067 psi per week. This means if you top up with air for every 15 days, you should top up with nitrogen for every 24 days. Coming to the performance claims made. There is no evidence to the statement that the gas you use to fill tires makes any difference in the performance. Now let's talk about the corrosion claims. It is said that nitrogen restricts the oxidation of rubber, but the outer atmosphere is 21% oxygen which can oxidize rubber from outside. So this is also an insignificant difference. Now to conclude, all the claims are outright false except the reduced loss in tire pressure. But this small difference can be overlooked by the fact that air is completely free to fill. 